Hello students. So in previous lecture we were discussing on ESWL. So ESWL can be solved with two criteria. One is on stress criteria and the other is on deflection criteria. So we are discussing on stress criteria. Again in stress criteria it can be solved in two cases. So in previous uh, lecture we discussed with case one that is on dual wheel assembly. Okay. And we also solved one problem related to dual wheel assembly. So dual wheel assembly with respect to graphical method. Okay. So graphical method uh, here we took A and B. Okay. So uh, coordinate of A point are P and D by 2 and coordinate of B point are 2P and 2S. So further, we'll be moving up with the next case that is tandem wheel assembly. So we have understood what is a dual wheel assembly and tandem wheel assembly. So I'll just uh, repeat it again. So dual wheel assembly, we have two tires with the axle. This is the axle. Okay. And we took uh, example of this and we we got this value of yes which is given by d plus 2a how this d plus 2a came so this is how it comes so this yes is nothing but your center to center space between the two tires now it depends on the distance d that is the wall to wall distance of the tire and plus 2a which is given by the radius of contact area made by one tire and the radius of contact area made by the second tire. So it is 2A. Now uh, coming to the second case. Now yes here it can be found out by the other way. Okay. Now before that we will just go through what is the tandem uh, wheel assembly. So tandem wheel assembly is... You have eight tires at the rear end of the vehicle. So typically you have the multi-axle vehicles or multi-axle trucks, multi-axle buses at the rear end. Okay, these are at the rear end of the vehicle. So taking this consideration, okay. So we'll be finding out yes for this case, okay. So, so this is the case two. What we'll be doing it today. So you can see here. So case two is for dual tandem wheel assembly. So here, now the same thing. It is the same thing. It has been shown in this manner. Both are one and the same. Same thing. It has been shown in this manner. Okay. So here we have for dual tandem wheel assembly. So this is the value. Yes, we need to find out now. Okay. So this by Pythagoras theorem, we can find out this value. If I know uh, the value of this S1 and S2, I can find out the value of S. Okay. So for dual tandem wheel assembly, this S can be found out by S is equal to square root of S1 square plus uh, s2 square okay so here yes is found out in this manner okay whereas in dual wheel assembly yes is equal to d plus 2a which we have already solved with one numerical okay so next uh, in this graphical method so we take a and b points with coordinates of a as p comma d by 2 and B point coordinates as 2P 2S. This is for dual wheel assembly. And there is some change for tandem. Tandem wheel assembly. So instead of 2S, 2P and 2S, you should be taking as 4S. 4p and 4s okay so your a 
point coordinates remain same p and d by 2 whereas your b point the coordinates will change from 2p 2s for dual wheel assembly to 4p 4s for tandem wheel assembly so this is the change what we will be making in graphical representation do you understand okay so i'll just write it here so for dual wheel assembly a points remain same that is p d by 2 and b point it will be 2p 2s okay whereas for tandem wheel assembly so i explained to you what is tandem wheel assembly so a point in the graph or the coordinates of a points remain same p d by 2 and b point there is change that is 4p and 4 yes now this yes i have told how to calculate this yes in case of tandem wheel assembly again we'll just see how we'll how we, we can calculate this particular yes okay so, so it is something like this okay so this yes is found out by the this this is one axle this is another axle so this is the spacing between one axle and another axle with yes two and this is the spacing between one tire of one axle to the other tire in the uh, how we find out the yes in case of dual wheel assembly so if we know s1 and s2 we can find out yes by pythagoras theorem that is s is equal to s1 square plus s2 square so this this is how we can find out yes okay we'll start with the problem on tandem wheel assembly a tandem wheel load assembly has a load of 5000 kg on wheels with contact pressure of 5 kg per centimeter square clear distance between wheels is 60 centimeter and spacing between tandem axis 110 centimeter determine eswl at 60 centimeter and 70 centimeter by graphical method so this is a question uh, we need to find out eswl for a tandem wheel load assembly by graphical method okay so as per the given data i'll just uh, draw the tandem wheel assembly so at the rear end of the vehicle we have tandem wheel assembly something like this okay so here what they have given is the clear distance between wheels is 60 centimeter so what is this clear distance between the wheels is represented by this distance which we denote it by s1 this is given by 60 centimeters okay and they are also given the spacing between tandem axis as 110 centimeter okay now tandem axis is nothing but this distance so this value of s2 is been given as 110 centimeter okay so here we have one axle and here we have another axle and we have another four tires on the that end of your axle okay so s1 s2 have been mentioned here s1 with 60 centimeter s2 with 110 centimeter what we need to find out is we need to find out this value of yes okay now how can we find out this value of yes as discussed in the uh, earlier we can find out this value of yes which is given by square root of yes one square plus square root of uh, plus yes two square okay so this value of yes now the value of s1 as is 60 square plus 110 square 
okay so we shall find out this value of yes so it is given by root of 60 square plus 110 square so 125.29 i'll just round it off to 125.3 125.3 centimeters so this value of yes is given by 125.3 centimeters so this is how we need to find out the value of yes okay so we'll go for plotting of the graph so for graph so taking x as the depth of the payment which is in centimeter and eswl will be on the y-axis of the graph and it is in kg fine so we need to plot the two points on this particular graph with point a and point b with coordinates of point a as p d by 2 and coordinates of b point is represented by 4p and 4s okay so after you find these points you need to join these particular two points so so yes we have found out here nothing but 125.3 p is nothing but the load load p is given in the data that is nothing but your 5000 kg which is coming on the wheel and the d quantity is unknown but we know this value of s1 okay so d i can find out so this is given to you so this is given as 60 centimeter now uh, the relation what we used in a dual wheel assembly that holds good here so s was given with d plus 2a from dual wheel assembly relation so this value of 60 is been given d is unknown and a is also unknown but this a can be found out how we can find out so this a can be found out by the relation of pressure is equal to load by area so by this relation we can find out the value of a so once you find out the value of a using this relation we know the load value area is nothing but pi by 4 d square this can be taken into consideration as pi a square a, a i have told you this is represented by uh, the radius of contact made on by the tire on the pavement okay so this a we can find out so after you find out the value of a this you substitute here and you get <coughs> the value of this value to a value and d is the only unknown quantity and you can find out the d value okay which is will be in centimeter after you find out d value just this will be the known quantity now so you can plot this a and b fine so after you plot a point and b point so at a depth of so what it has been asked in the numerical at the depth of say 60 centimeter now this value should be converted into log values as discussed in the uh, previous uh, numerical which we solved in the dual wheel assembly so convert all these values what, what all the values will come the p value d by 2 value 4 p value and 4 s value okay all the normal values should be converted to the log values so for example uh, p is been given as 5000 kg okay so 5000 log of 5000 i get it as 3.69 okay so 3.69 is the value log value of this so once you get this value you can plot this 
so similarly you can just go for these different values and plot the graph and find out for depth of 60 centimeter and 70 centimeter extend these particular depths and find out the corresponding ESWL on the respective graph okay this you can take as a uh, assignment small assignment and you can work out and find out the ESWL for depth of 60 and 70 as we have solved in case of dual wheel assembly okay